Peeps, this is Jay from Generation Geek, and today we have another most powerful feat list for no other than Captain Nathaniel Adam. Captain Adam. From uh, going to this list, I had a pretty good idea of how powerful you know Captain Adam was, especially you know from the Justice League Unlimited series in which he was able to you know go toe to toe with Superman and stuff like that. But as I got into these feats, I was like, yo, this guy is really on a god tier universal like type of level but we're going to get into that as always if you guys are new here please like share and subscribe and join the gk fam we'll love to have you now to start off a little history on captain daniel adam he was this great military guy he had the option of doing this experiment instead of being sentenced to death in the alien spaceship it's in a spaceship the spaceship blows up he fuses with the metal in the spaceship and energy and then he's able to tap into the quantum field so basically the quantum field is a mcguffin it allows you to do almost anything literally to upper limits and basically this man becomes dr manhattan like, i'm just going to keep it simple like he at his highest potential has the powers of dr manhattan which makes his feet in rebirth in which he was fighting dr manhattan and he you know he says the last thing you're going to see is captain adam now superman he blasts dr manhattan is like a super interesting thing because dr manhattan was based off of captain adam now of course with his powers we get the basic things you know the super flight the strength and all the other stuff so as far as flight goes he's able to go at the speed of light we have a few skins in which people like Blue Beetle mention his speed. He himself thought he can go at like half the speed of light, but then, you know, we have confirmation later that he can go upwards to the speed of light. Obviously, he's super fast and can fly and do all of those cool things. Of course, flying brick stuff. But then we get into his strength. His strength is super impressive. Again, he's able to slug it out with beings on the highest tier of power, um, like Superman. Uh, he's even knocked out a version of Superman, a more powerful version of Superman, in my opinion, which is Mr. Majestic. He was able to knock out Mr. Majestic literally in one strike he was even able to knock out a version of martian man hunter now i think this is like an energy blast but it was a knockout altogether he was even able to punch firestorm out of his firestorm matrix yes the firestorm the nuclear man going against atomic man he was literally able to punch firestorm until this building and literally knocked him out of his firestorm matrix was able to fight against superman he was able to break out of superman's grip and things like that so we know he has the strength to go toe to toe with the likes of superman not even being amped by red sun radiation or anything like that he's able to go toe to toe with superman he's strong enough to break green lantern constructs he's done it a few times with people like hal jordan and things like that so we know he has the strength to break constructs which which this ring as we know can literally destroy pull do so many things to planets like it's crazy a ring with that power which is only being limited by the user's imagination he's even strong enough to break the greatest user of the green lantern ring which is hal jordan back to his speed he's so fast that he was literally able to create a counter tornado to a mind control red tornado he was able actually to go against him and create a counter tornado to red tornado who was literally trying to tear him apart it's like he's like there's no way you can survive this and captain adam's like watch this and he starts spinning in the reverse side of the tornado and is able to counteract it and turn it against red tornado which is obviously is an elemental being within itself it is a force of nature and he was able to counteract red tornado Captain Adam really cannot be overloaded when it comes to energy, but what happens is if he takes on too much energy, he actually quantum leaps forward in time. So he really has no upper limit to the amount of energy that he could take in. It just so happens that the side effect is when he takes in too much, he goes forward in time. But this is when the stuff starts to get crazy. So as we look at Captain Adam, we get into his quantum energy manipulation, and this is when it gets crazy. Captain Adam who really should be the most powerful superhero on any roster, especially just League roster, was able to create replicas of his universe. Not only was he able to create replicas of this universe with his quantum field energy and his connection, he destroyed them three times and kept recreating them. He even took people like Neil Armstrong out of history. Less, this man is able to create entire universes. This man is a multi-universal threat. Just look at the scans. The stuff he's able to do at his full potential is literally godlike. It literally is Dr. Manhattan levels of power. Now he has mentioned before that he doesn't have the you know finite control over it, but then he goes to back to scans like this in which you see him do it and you like, are you sure about that or it's just, just how the writers are writing you so they can fit you into the story like you're really able to create universes and destroy them to fit your liking 
and with the quantum field he's even able to tap into the astral plane not only can he tap into it he can go to and from the astral plane at will once he got a little control over it kind of almost destroyed on one time but after that he was able to go to heaven whenever he felt like it like this man literally can be knocking on heaven's door looking for spears like not only is he not limited to just like a scientific power and just nature standpoint but he's able to go into the supernatural aspects of comics which makes him so dangerous and powerful He's literally used his quantum energy to destroy Omax, and we know how powerful Omax can be. He literally can take any power, download into itself, and become whatever it wants to be. We saw how bad the Omax thing went with Batman. He was able to destroy literally Omax Prime within itself. Like, literally took the energy from him, absorbed the energy, and then just busted him up to like a bucket of bolts. But then there's another side of Captain Adam in which he goes insane, of course, because every superhero has to have their dark side. And his dark side where his like mime's a little messed up, he became the being known as Monarch. Now Monarch was so crazy that he was literally threatening the universe on a multiversal scale and was literally only destroyed because of some future shenanigans with Superman Prime. And we saw what he was able to do with shattering reality retconning all of history to where Jason Todd was alive and blah, 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 blah. So yes, he was only destroyed at the end due to Superman Prime and he killed Superman Prime himself. Literally, the only being that seemed to be able to kill Superman Prime was Monarch. He was so powerful that when he was fighting all these superheroes, mind you, he took out and eliminated a lot of superheroes, including Aquaman, Hawk Girl, uh, Lobo was in there, and we did a video on Lobo and his versus battle versus Cosmic Ghost Rider. We saw that basically Lobo is almost impossible to kill because he's not accepted into heaven or hell, but he was able to literally obliterate him as well. And then he destroys North America like super easy just for being a punishment for breaking his rules in the arena. He beats the crap out of like three different Superman at one time. You got like the classic Superman, you got Chris Kent, you got Red Sun Superman, and he literally is just beating them all. Then he fights without difficulty against three other Green Lanterns, and we're talking about like the brightest night. We have Hal Jordan, we have another Green Lantern, which I think might have been Kyle Rayner maybe, I can't be sure. But literally, takes out three Green Lanterns, they end up like piercing his helmet, and he kills two of them, including the brightest day Batman, and then all that's left is Hal. Like, this man's power is on a whole nother level. And then he gets amped even more after that, in which he absorbs 51 other versions of himself just to amp his power. And then compares his power to that of the Big Bang. And that's when he goes against Superman Prime. He's fighting against him. He seems to have the upper hand on Superman Prime, who was Superboy Prime at the time. But then Superman Prime comes out, flies at him, literally rips his chest open, and literally causes a big bang and destroys the entire universe to the point that all that is left is the monitor. Like Superman Prime, gone. Monarch, Captain Atom, gone. Like this, he did have the power of a big bang to literally kill an entire universe. So whenever we bring up Captain Atom, we definitely have to put some respect on his name because personally, I believe this guy is above base Superman. Obviously, he doesn't have the fine control as Dr. Madden, but, you know, some of these kids, like I said, he was able to create entire universes. You know, he would forget stuff. He's not omniscient or anything like that, but he was able to, you know, recreate his doll. Like he had to keep restarting because he forgot his dog one time. Like his power, his power is nuts. But did you guys know that Captain Adam was this powerful? If you did, leave it in the comments below. And if there's any feats that you think I missed, also leave that in the comments below. And if there's somebody that you like to see me do a most powerful feat list on as well, you can leave that in the comments below as well. And as always, guys, thank you guys for chilling with me. I have been Jay from Generation Geek. Y'all be blessed and peace.